Good morning, church, and welcome to Sunday, September 19th. Esther Knopfsinger starts us off with, Here I am, Lord. Sunday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Angela Schaffner. And our scripture this morning is James 3, 13 to 18. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness, born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, and devilish. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. James argues that when we experience envy and self-centeredness in our hearts, we should not be boastful by lying about it to ourselves. James seems to assume that there will be times when we envy others and seek our own well-being at the expense of other people. It's part of the human experience. Our call is not to be shocked when we see these qualities in ourselves, or even to eliminate these states altogether, but to avoid an arrogant mentality that refuses to acknowledge and take ownership for those parts of ourselves that are tough to face. The author says, that she's seen many clients experience relief as they find words to name the parts of themselves that they fear will be rejected and unloved. She feels honored by their vulnerability and connected to them in a common understanding of what it means to be human. As we realize that our feelings are normal and common, they lose the power to isolate and separate us from the love of God and those around us. We benefit from being as honest with our Christian friends as we are with a therapist or a spiritual director. We are wise to share with trusted companions that what comes up in our private journaling and vulnerable prayers in our deepest and most honest selves. We will experience envy and selfish ambition and it's best acknowledged because left unattended these harmful spiritual states lead to disorder and chaos in our lives. The antidote is first to be honest with ourselves and others, and then to be open to the radical intervention of the Holy Spirit, who guides us into the wisdom that is pure, peace-loving, gentle, and willing to yield. When we make space for all of ourselves to enter God's healing light, God brings peace. Let us pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, show us the parts of ourselves that tend toward envy and self-centeredness. Help us to experience relief that comes with honestly naming these qualities. 
connecting with others in our common struggle, knowing that we are loved and making space for your peace and wisdom. Amen. And our closing hymn is I Surrender All. Surrender.